Ray. It's your brother K. Judah, giving all praise to the Most High Yah in faith in Yahshua HaMashiach. And to my Israelite family worldwide, I say peace and blessings. You Gentiles in California say, you won't go out of California, but God was never in California. And now you are burning with fire because the fool have said that there is no God. How foolish are you to think that God do not rule in heaven and earth. And now you are in pain and grief and tears. And who shall pity you? Remember Black Wall Street? You burn with fire. You reap what you sow. And now God have kindled a fire in you. And who will be able to quench his fire? Because God is destroying your foundation. And you should never rebuild. These are the beginning of your sorrows. And your desolations. And why y'all keep saying this is a God-fearing nation? This is not a God-fearing nation. But a wicked nation. So Israel. Israel. Everything that you have been through is not in vain. He will deliver you. And he who supposed to come will come and deliver you out of captivity. As he promised your fathers. And he will bless you above your fathers. And place you in your own land. And you should build and never be destroyed. You will never see captivity again. Because your God do not break promises. All you have to do is hold on just a little bit longer. Hold on, Israel, just a little bit longer. And do not allow your faith to fail. Let's go to Psalms 59. Psalms 59. And I'm going to pick it up at verse 10. Psalms 59. And your brother K. Jew. Go pick it up at verse 10. Psalms 59 and verse 10. And it reads, The God of my mercy shall prevent me God should let me see my desire upon my enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power and bring them down. Read that again, K. Judah. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power and bring them down. O oh Lord, I will shield for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips. Let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. Do you not speak lying words? When you stop us, you say we have a gun. You say we have drugs. When we go in your courtroom, you lie. Do you not lie with your lying lips? Yes, you do. Let's go to Psalm 69. Psalm 69. And your brother K. Jew, go pick it up at verse 19. Psalm 69 and your brother k Jew, go pick it up at verse 19 and it reads thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor my adversaries are all before thee reproach have broken my heart and they are full of heaviness and i look for some to take pity don't we look for pity and i look for some to take pity but there was none and for comfort, but I found none. Do you see? That we look for pity, but nobody showed pity. All mock us and look and laugh and shake their head for our destruction. But do you not know that you reap what you sow? As you have mocked us, as you have mocked us, you shall also be mocked. And those who see your destruction shall also wag their head. I also clap their hands at your destruction because you reap what you sow. Jump down to verse 24. Jump down to verse 24. And it reads, Pour out thy indignation upon them. Read that again. Pour out thy indignation upon them and let thy wrath for anger take hold of them. Let their habitation, what is your habitation? Where you live in. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecuted him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to grief of those whom thou have wounded. And he talking about us. Do they not talk when they see our grief, when they see our pain, when they see everything that we have been through? Yes, they talk. They talk amongst themselves. Let's go to Abaca chapter 3. 
Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3. And I'm going to pick it up at verse 12. Habakkuk chapter 3. And your brother K. Jew, go pick it up at verse 12. And it reads, Thou winnest for it, for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thy anointing. Thou wounds the head over the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Salah. Let's go to Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1. Zechariah chapter 1. Zechariah chapter 1. Zechariah chapter 1. And verse 15. Zechariah 1 and verse 15 and it reads, I am very so displeased with the heathen. They are at ease. For I was a little displeased and they held for the affliction. So you reap what you sow. Do you see? You reap what you sow. And your brother K. Judah want to say, Shalom.